and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. We're starting up Season 9 today. We're taking on Hawaii. We had a thriller with them to start the season in Season 8. Go back and watch that if you haven't already. That is a Klein classic for sure. And then we're going to be traveling to take on the Rice Owls. Now you might say, well, why you got so many cupcakes at the start of your schedule? Well, we don't, all right? Rice is pretty stacked. They're number 19 in the country right now. What up, Tyler? What's going on, brother? Lions one win away from the Super Bowl. Yes, sir. <coughs> but yeah, anyway, Rice, they are really good. They've been having a lot of good recruiting classes. And uh, then we have, what, UNLV, Mid-Tennessee State, right after that as well. So two, three, four, five. So those are our first four games in week two, three, four, and five. And we'll take a quick gander at those. See, Rice, number 19. They're really good. Here's the matchup in our next game. Uh, they got a B overall, B plus offense, and defense. Special teams holding them back just a little bit. UNLV, they went undefeated last season. They were, I think, 12-0. and So, I, I mean, they're, <laughs> they're pretty good. They're pretty dang good. Just saying. I wanted to beat all these guys. And it's going to be a rough season, I think, for us, though. I just want to point that out. We are only returning, what, nine starters this season? Seven on offense, two on defense. And then we have Mid-Tennessee State. So these two will be the games for our stream tomorrow night. And Mid-Tennessee State, very good as well. B overall. <clears throat> We're down to an A- minus currently. And we are number two in the country. And look at UNLV, B plus all across the board. So a lot of tough games here to start off. Well, let's get right into the action, folks. Let's simulate week one and get into our games. Oregon just beat Texas A&M 73-21. Or Texas Tech, sorry. 73-21. Got absolutely slaughtered. Good lordy. Get them out of here. All right. Rice is still number 19. And we are going to Hawaii. They're on one. Who they lose to? Oh, Oklahoma beat them 68 to 7. So <laughs> I feel a little bit bad for Hawaii. You know, the <laughs> first two weeks is against number one Oklahoma and then number two Mississippi State. So <laughs> that's a bit of a, a tough schedule for them. Well, let's go ahead and make sure our settings are all good. We're still on now. Okay, here we go. Special teams, I adjusted field goal length. Accuracy has always been up there. And, you, I mean, we still miss kicks all the time. Um, but this is the only thing I adjusted for us for this season. The rest of the sliders are the same. They've been the same uh, forever. Pretty much. I think I adjusted maybe one or two things. But only slightly. I'll do only do, like, one little adjustment. Like, one notch. Like I'm not going to go crazy and, and just push a bar all the way up or down. Anything crazy like that. But I do know uh, <coughs> the major ones are break block for human is all the way up. It has been for the entirety of the series. And we still somehow uh, just can't get a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks. We did, however, get five sacks against Oklahoma, which was really nice. But... And break block for the computer is at zero, and we get sacked all the time. So, yeah. So there's that. <coughs> I'm still going to be coughing and dying. So, yep. That's, that's happening. I can't help it, guys. I'm sorry. All right. Let's get it. It's going to be tough. Don't have a lot of returning star players. Just our running back, uh, Mr. Sanford. This is Aloha Stadium, located within Honolulu, Hawaii, which becomes the site for this college football matchup. With the temperatures rising, we're glad to be in the air-conditioned booth for today's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Warriors of Hawaii. And here come the Warriors. here along with Lee Corso and Kirk Curbstreet and we are anxious to get this one underway. We've got two teams that are playing as well as anybody in the country here early in the season. 
the Warriors look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? Well, I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blowout. The Mississippi State looks to be pretty unstoppable offensively, and that's primarily because of their quarterback. Hey, what up, Brandon? Is this guy gifted physically. He's got such a grasp of this game mentally. Lee, he's a coach of the <coughs> Yep, no question, Kirk. Hawaii does not match up well defensively against this passing attack. And that's the reason why I think they're going to be out of this one early. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if it's over by halftime. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. <laughs> I apologize for disrespecting Erickson. He did win two natties. You are correct. I'll have the ball first in this game. Try to see what our offense has got in it. New quarterback. Uh, new fullback. Two new starting wide receivers this season. A lot of new faces on this roster. 41 underclassmen and just 14 upperclassmen. Okay, why is Malone returning a kickoff? I don't understand. This did this last season, I believe. Or maybe two seasons ago. Like, these are not the guys that I want on return. How does this keep happening? Like, get my young guys out here. Come on. I don't want Malone out there on a return to get hurt. Alright, looks good. Alright, offense. Oh, baby, first play of the game. And Sanford up to the 47. Let's go. Been loving NFL Blitz lately. Nice. I do have an NFL Blitz game somewhere. But I'm not streaming it. Because the loading screens are <laughs> so ridiculous. I think I streamed it one time. <laughs> and I think about half of the stream was just the loading screen. New fullback hitting a carry. It's Sandoval, and he goes nowhere. Let's figure out who we got. Who's going to be a playmaker this season? Oh, nice tackle. Really good open field tackle there. Only a pickup of one yard. Third down and nine coming up for the Dogs. And we got the wrong guy in the slot. Our whole entire depth chart just got switched up. And nice catch by Dale. My goodness. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have blitzed the league. Yeah, it's definitely fun. Like, it's something I'd play on my own. But it's like, I, I can't stream that. The loading screens are just so ridiculous, man. I would love to be able to stream it. Might get the second one eventually. Stream that one. Up top to Dale, and he drops this one. See, this is why... I did not have him as the three. Yeah, we're going to put Mullins out there. Oops. Oops. There we go. Dale can be the four. I want Mullins out there. Give him some play time. We got third and 11. Play the N64 OG. Nice. Now, there was some really fun football. Like, I think Madden 2000 on the N64. Oh, man, that was so much fun. I loved it. Back of the end zone. That's going to be overthrown. We're going to have to settle for a field goal try. Now, I did. I upped the kicking power for us slightly. Should be able to make a little bit of longer field goals. 
our max was like 45 or 44 in previous seasons. Kick us up. And it's good. 39 yard try. They give him credit for a 40. So with this slider adjustment, Hayes has the potential to make possibly a 50 yard field goal. Sliders. Uh, I showed some of them at the beginning of the stream. Hold on. I got switched off on the wrong guy here. Let me get to my guy. So we got some pressure on the first play. I'm going to be using Kennedy this season. We need to look at the. Well, where are the sliders? Sliders? Here we go. Alright, so here's Human. This is what it's been. All along, you've seen the quarterback accuracy. Uh, you've seen the pass blocking, just doesn't work. Uh, catching, we drop passes left and right. Running back ability, uh, we barely break tackles. Run blocking, I mean, this has been this way for a while. Computer stuff on offense, pass blocking all the way down with our break blocking all the way up, and we rarely get to the quarterback. We haven't had a player with more than six sacks in a season, I believe. Uh, wide receiver catching, it's always been that. I did, I upped their run blocking this season, and I think I adjusted their run back ability. No, no, I didn't adjust, I just adjusted the run blocking. Defense, this is what it's always been. For human, computer, and special teams, I adjusted their punt length so they're, they're kick power and that's it and it's on Heisman <laughs> but a lot of these sliders <laughs> I mean, they don't really even matter like I said the offensive line for the computer versus my defensive line you know with their slider all the way down and mine all the way up uh, it's it's dang near impossible <laughs> it's dang near impossible to get to the quarterback. Oh. Oh, nice catch. My goodness. Right on the sideline. <coughs> they still must beat me with a stack team. I know. The Tennessee game, man. It, it's so crazy. We get such good games sometimes. You know, there's going to be a lot of stinkers here and there, you know, where we're just blowing people out. But not by, I, I don't know how many 50 burgers we've had in this series, but it it hasn't been a lot. This game is tough. Like, you might look at the record and say, oh, we're 89 and 20. Like, okay. But, <laughs> we're not killing everybody like we are in other series. Like the Marine Corps uh, dynasty we had. In 05 and Kansas, we were killing everybody. And there's a drop pass. <coughs> and North Carolina, we were putting up points too. But I think this is the most balanced I think we've had. Good tackle, Kennedy. Let's go. Yeah, I adjusted the um, computer run blocking a little bit. I mean, they didn't really need it. Like, the running backs play really well for the computer. The problem that I've ran into in this game is that they don't run enough. Come on, freshman. Oh, that's tough. Don't even have enough time to make a move on it. Yeah, like, uh, like Oklahoma in the Natty. I mean, they ran the ball extremely well in the fourth quarter and in overtime. But the first three quarters, 
They had like negative three rushing yards. It was ridiculous. But they just they turned it on because they they kept feeding the running back. Now if a lot of other teams actually did that against us, you know, oh what a juke! They'd have a lot more yards. And there goes Sanford up to the 36 yard line. He's got 42 yards. Now these are the same, you know, sliders we've been using for. I mean, I made little adjustments, but <coughs> uh, pretty much the same since the very start of the series. You know, we had Jarius Norwood at running back. Couldn't get a whole lot going with him. He was quick, but our offensive line was bad. So we didn't run the ball very well at all. Impact tailbacks are terrifying in 06. Yeah, absolutely. Like, when they're on, they are on, man. Oh, look at the blocking. Oh, come on, tight end. You had to hit that. Got to get that block. Yeah, right now, Sanford, I mean, he's just using his speed, and we have a really good offensive line still. We have all five of our offensive linemen are returning starters, so. <coughs> and four of them are sophomore, one senior. And the freshman drops the pass. Ashley Jackson, how you doing? Good to see you as well. Appreciate you stopping by. Hope you're doing well. Sanford picking up six or seven more. Already 86 yards for him. Third down and two. <coughs> I think another factor for our team is the SEC's been really bad <laughs> in this series. Uh-oh. Oh, I knew that was coming. That's the risk that we run when you do the option. Dang it. That is unfortunate. Well, defense back out on the field. <coughs> yeah, the SEC has been super bad right now. Like, Alabama didn't win a game last season. Vandy went 0-12. The only teams that have really competed uh, all the way into Season 9 right here is Tennessee. And I think Georgia made it to the SEC title game couple times I mean that's really it I mean there hasn't been a whole lot of other teams uh, you know vying for that top spot oh it's picked off by Keyshawn Barry let's go first pick of the season beautiful All right, now let's uh, get back on offense <coughs> and, uh, yeah, try not to turn the ball over again. I don't know how he intercepted that. That was kind of crazy. Let's go play action. We've been running the ball really well. Try to hit Mullins. He's got him beat. Mullins. Oh, nice deflection by the safety. Sanford. There we go. Broken tackle. Let's go. I need T. Oh, man. Actually, you have no idea. I've been... Let's see. What's today? Today's the 23rd. I've been coughing like this since... What the heck day was it? 21st of December? Yeah, I think so. Whatever Thursday was before Christmas. Ever since that morning, I've been coughing. And the problem is, I have a space heater heating my bedroom. So, that's the only heat I have. Any, all, the only heat source I have in my house are space heaters. So, it's just super, super dusty. So, 
that coughing is just, it's all the dust coming out of my lungs. What teams do well in 03 Dynasty? I mean, <coughs> I don't, man, it's, it's hard to say. Like, a lot of the small schools get really good. You know, because they'll dominate their conference. And they'll just keep getting all the good recruits, and they'll keep winning that conference over and over again. The more you win your conference, the more bowl games you get, the more bowl games you win, you get up to a six-star prestige. And, you know, you just get better recruiting classes every time. So your team eventually gets stacked. That's why we have Rice, we have Middle Tennessee State, and we've got UNLV on the schedule this season. Because those guys have been killing it. UNLV went 13-0 and 0 last season. Some people thought they should have been in the national championship game against us. As Malone is hurt. That's not good. That's our number one receiver this season. And he's actually back up already. Okay. And look at that. Our pass blocking is <laughs> it's just non-existent. Which is crazy. Our O-line is the best part of our team. But yeah, Fresno State's been pretty good in this. Southern Miss has been good. Oh, man. Sanford's tired. He's still in there. What is he doing? Third and 15. Try to go to Anderson. Might go to Malone. The corner's not open. And why just take off? Massey's wide open. There's the sophomore. Had three touchdowns against Tennessee. And now he's injured. Acceptable. Dale going back into that slot spot at receiver. And somehow Sanford squeezes through there to get to the five yard line. That was kind of crazy. Alright, second to go from the five. Yeah, Fresno State just rolls in that game. That's true. I'm pretty sure they were really good in the Tar Heels dynasty we have. Anderson drops it. That probably wasn't a touchdown, but would have got us to the one-yard line. <coughs> Pace, 3 of 8, 66 yards. Now he's getting a start here today. I don't know. You know, just I'm really hoping that he does well this season. And he gets a touchdown on the ground. First touchdown of the season for the Dogs. Man, that felt like it took forever for us to get in the end zone. Yeah, if Pace doesn't perform well this season, you know, I'm not opposed to putting the sophomore quarterback in, Mr. Billy Bond. Because he can run, too. Hawaii to 63 yards so far. That includes returns, though. Pretty sure. And nice tackle by Kennedy, the new starting free safety. <laughs> Wildcat single wing. Oh, my goodness. Massey will return his elbow bursitis. Oh yeah, don't forget to uh, slap the like button, guys, and uh, subscribe if you're new. Going to be playing more college football on the channel. Nice catch by Hoofnagel. We're going to do Season 9 and 10 of the Bulldogs, and we're going to dive into some Arena Football League. Our, <coughs> our making Knights will be returning for at least one season. 
<coughs> we gotta defend our title. And then, after that, I'll have you guys... Oh, nice catch. I'll have you guys pick uh, what college game and... Oh, UTEP lost to Troy State. There's another one, UTEP. They were number four. UNLV crushed Washington. My goodness. But I'll have you guys pick what college game and what team we'll be using. Well, maybe not what team, but... Yeah, probably what team. I'll have you guys pick what game, what conference, what team. Because there's still... Oh, it was Gray, the fresh... I think it's the freshman linebacker on the play. There's still a few conferences, big conferences, that we have to use. we got to use the Pac-10. We Oh, man. Oh, nice stiff arm. we got to use the Pac-10. we got to use the Big Ten, I believe. And the Big 12. Did we use the Big 12 yet? No. No, we didn't. Need a Wishbone Dynasty? <laughs> Maybe. Could happen. I tackled him, but he got the first down. Dang it. Come on, defense. I know we got nine new... Oh, my goodness. We got nine new starters out here, but let's make some plays, boys. <coughs> Man. Come on, Gray. You overran that one, buddy. Freshman strong safety missing that play. Oh, Barry right there. Couldn't make the play. Gonzalez is in for the touchdown. That was a good drive from the Warriors. Extra point up, and good. Nine play, 82 yard drive. Two and a half minutes off the clock. It's 10 to seven. Bulldogs still on top. Freshman receiver on for the kick return up to the 22. Yeah, for our next series, I think I want to do Big Ten or Pac-10 <coughs> for college. And Pace only picks up a few. Had to escape the pressure. Oh, what a tackle on Sanford. Absolutely clothesline. He's already got 114 yards on 13 carries. Having himself a day. A day and a half, even. And I tried to step up in the pocket. Got dropped. That is super unfortunate. I had a guy wide open I was trying to hit. Freshman punter Floyd on for the book. Boot it! Oh my. Okay. He's got a good leg. I like that. 3.6 hang time all the way down to the 22 yard line. Not bad for the freshman. He's wide open. Harrington breaks two tackles. Go. 
And it's picked off by Robbins. Oh, he's got a blocker. Robbins up the sideline, and he's going to go out of bounds. <laughs> Second pick for the defense. Still can't get a sack to save our lives against Hawaii. Like, what are we doing? Oh, man. No blocking on the left side. Drop for a loss of one. Wide open, and there's holding. Come on, man. That's unfortunate. All right, let's try it again. They're down in 18. We've got 20 seconds left in the half. Should have been pass interference. They do call it. Let's go. Holy smokes. Just trying to get some rest, Ashley. Yeah. Rest is nice, isn't it? I recently just got a new pillow. Oh, man. That thing is life-changing. I'm telling you. I've been having such bad neck pain. Not anymore. Feeling like I'm 20 again. How is that not pass interference? Come on, man. You called the last one. Yeah, I'm glad to still be doing my thing, Ashley. It's really nice to uh, be able to do something you love. Who's open? Anybody? Yeah, why not? Oh, nice catch. Going to call a timeout. One second left. So we can kick a field goal here before the half. That play took a little longer than I wanted it to. Rick Hayes on for the field goal try. The kick is up. And the kick is good. Hawaii playing us tough again. It's 13-7 at the half. Bulldogs on top. Warriors get the ball to start the second half. That might go out of bounds to the left. Oh, maybe not. Not bad. Get him, Tony. All right, Tony, you missed, but that's okay. Has three teammates there to clean it up. Wide open. He overthrows him. Oof. Got lucky there. I'd like to get a sack on the quarterback sometime today. And that's picked off by Kennedy. The user interception, baby. Let's go. First career pick for Mr. Kennedy. And that's the third pick of the game for the defense. A defense that only returns two starters. And it's Massey, or Malone rather, first down Bulldogs. Pace just 5 of 11 right now. He's doing his best out there. Mm. 
Mullins, the freshman, has it at the five. Let's see if we can do a toss play. We'll probably lose like five yards. Yeah, this is probably not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna be good. I can feel it. Yeah, good block fullback. <clears throat> it's one thing I would really like uh, change about this game. Obviously it can't be changed, but being able to do a, a quick audible, stay in that same formation to get out of situations like that. Okay, now we're just gonna go all the way backwards. That's unfortunate. Third goal from the 15. Why did it take my running back so long? And that pass is going to be deflected away. We're going to have to settle for our third field goal try of the contest. With billions, do I think the Lions are going to the Super Bowl? Oh man, I don't know. That's going to be a tough game against the Niners, man. Do I think they can win it? I do think they can win that game. But do I, do I think they will? That's, <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> I'm not sure, man. I'm just hoping for a good game. I know both teams are obviously going to give their all. I love what the Lions are doing this season. It would be really cool to see them in their first ever Super Bowl. Also, uh, glad to see you, buddy. Long time no see. almost picked off oh my goodness who is that number 59 I don't even know these players everybody's so new on this roster that's Copeland we got Mason at middle linebacker Corbin May is one of the two returning starters from our team last season a lot of roster turnover Oh, he got beat. Come on, Barry. Oh, no. <laughs> Hoofnagel to Hoofnagel connection. 70-yarder. We've obviously had longer plays than that. For some reason, it just does not save the settings. Well, that's an unfortunate turn of events. Extra point up and good. Hawaii closes the gap. It's 16-14. Bulldogs on top. Here's the freshman running back. McCoy up to the 27th. Another close contest with the Warriors. Mullins can't get there. Slight overthrow from Pace. Good old Cletus Pace. Nice block. Sanford's in the open field. Look out. Up past the 50. He's having a great day. Just using that speed. Breaking the tackle now. Picking up nine. He's got 141 yards on 17 carries. Been going to him early and often in this one. And I think 
Hickey moves the chains on that one. We got an injury. James Tate, defensive back for Hawaii, is down on the field. That's unfortunate for them. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how many times I've been sacked, but it's been too much. Oh, nice catch by Mullins. I thought that was going to be picked. Oh, that was close. Brings up third down and two. out for the rest of the third quarter with a dislocated shoulder coming back for the fourth. What a warrior. In more ways than one. Sanford, back to the line of scrimmage. Let's go to the fullback. He's only got one carry today. He's probably going to get crushed again. Yep, my goodness. I swear they just, they know. They know what I'm picking. To Massey. Oh, wow. He jumped that real quick. Guess we're going to go for another field goal. Rick Hayes on for his fourth field goal attempt of the day. Against the wind. I think we got that one. That was perfect. They almost blocked that. Oh, my goodness. That was a 44-yarder. Career long for Hayes. Actually, he might have been credited with a 45-yarder a couple seasons back. Get him, boys. Good tackle. No way. Out of bounds. Whew. <coughs> Man, now the quarterback has uh, been impressive today. No turnovers from Pace. Well, he did fumble one, but he didn't throw a pick yet. That's what I'm more impressed with. Oh, no. I think freshman strong safety whiffing on the tackle attempt. We got ourselves a pretty good rivalry going with Hawaii the past couple seasons. I, I've enjoyed it. It's been nice. Just like we had a nice rivalry with Troy State first couple seasons of the series. It was really fun. And we finally sacked the quarterback. Let's go. Corbin May gets his first of the season. Second down and 13 coming up. He is wide open. Come on, Kennedy. Why are you jogging? Corbin May chases him down all the way across the field. Man. I don't know what those two are doing, but they whiffed real bad.
Get him. Oh my goodness. Who is 51? And why? That's Mason. He's just missing every tackle. And that's not okay. Final play of the third quarter. Maybe not. They throw an incomplete pass. Now we should have the final play of the third quarter. Come on, boys. Let's stop them. Please. Nope. Touchdown, Hawaii. They're going to take the lead. So we're going to go into the fourth quarter losing to Hawaii. Gonna go for two points to make it a three point ball game. Let's go, boys. And they are gonna overthrow their target. Two point conversion unsuccessful. It's 20 to 19. Boy gets to the outside. Nice juke and a stiff arm to the 31. See if we can complete the fourth quarter comeback down one point. Get your fours up in the chat if you're still in there. Need all the help I can get. Can't get the spin move to work. And it's third down three. And Sanford fumbles. Oh my goodness, Burris recovers it. Wow. What are we doing? I mean, really. We're going for it. Pull back dive. Sandoval, you've done nothing but go backwards so far in your career. I need you to fall forward this time, bud. And he will. Let's go. First down, Bulldogs. Beautiful play. Love it. Oh, what a deflection. Man, Pace, his arm is just, it's definitely not as good as Napoleon Watson, that's for sure. Watson had a cannon. So we are limited. Oh, what a run. Let's go with Sanford inside the 40. 169 yards for him. He is the every down back. His stamina must have went up like 30 because he has not left the field at all today from what I've seen. Oh, nice tackle. He does look a little tired at times, but hasn't left the field. Interesting. Malone in the end zone and incomplete. Can't hit him. Third down 10. I'm going to run it. This is four down territory. And 
we get no blocking. Fullback ran right by the DB. Uh, we cannot make that field goal. That's 51 yards. Fourth down and eight coming up. Wide open. Massey gets the first down. That was a clutch throw from Cletus Pace. Get some extra yards there before we get hit. All right. And Sanford gets close to the marker. They're going to give him the first down, it looks like. Fullback just keeps running right by these guys. He's a freshman, I think. If not a freshman, he's, uh... Hey, he might be a freshman. Redshirt freshman, possibly. Very young. Oh, right, here we go. Run pace. Close to the sticks. About a yard short. Let's go fullback dive. And the big fella is going to have his first career touchdown run. Sandoval gives the Bulldogs the lead. And we're going to go for two. Try to make it a seven-point ball game. off his hands. Oh my goodness. That was a great drive. 15 plays, 68 yards, 4 minutes, 20 seconds off the clock. Leaving just 240 left in the ballgame for Hawaii to try to get a touchdown and get the lead. We're going to be taking on Rice after this one. Number 19 in the country. Oh, nice tackle. Three-yard pass to Thompson. Get that. Oh, what a hit. Big, big collision in the secondary. That's Copeland, the linebacker, in his first career start. So far, I've not been impressed by our middle linebacker, Mason. Missed quite a few tackles in this one. Copeland, he's been pretty good. And it's fourth down coming up. Fourth and two. And Gray gets beat by Garrison. Hawaii moves the sticks. Deflection. That looks like Copeland again. Trying to make a name for himself today. Pressured. Oh my goodness. He had a little bit of extra sauce on that one. Ray 
away. A little late getting there. Thompson gets the first down. Oh my goodness. That was a nice spin move by Gay. <coughs> Ooh, man, made our best defender look silly. Like he's out there on a frozen pond or something. Alright, what are we doing, defense? Second down and five. And there's an overthrow or a miscommunication between Hoofnagel and Thompson, I believe. Third down and five. 119 re remaining in the game. Hawaii, they are threatening. Oh my goodness. Gray got beat so badly. What are we doing, young fella? What do we want to do here? Some blitz in the safety. Get in there, Gray. Make a play, brother. Make the dang play. And Robbins makes it. Let's go. Oh, baby. Huge fourth down stop. Hawaii does have all three timeouts left, though. we got to move the chains in order to close this one out. And who do we call on to close it out? Sanford, of course. He'll pick up four. 177 yards on 28 carries. Definitely the focal point of this offense this season. Sanford to the outside. That might do it. Gets it up to the 43-yard line. Hawaii calls another timeout. Nice blocking. And it's definitely over now. Sanford, 207 yards on 30 carries. No touchdowns, though. Pace and Sandoval got into the end zone today. I'm going to run it one more time. Why not? As long as I don't Mario Cristobal myself. <coughs> I can say that because I'm a Hurricanes fan. Alright, we'll down it now. Had to get him 210. You know, had to get him 210 yards. All right, another good game against Hawaii. This one, not as good as the first contest last season, but still pretty fun. They're going to give Hoofnagel player of the game and not the running back that had 210 yards and won. That's crazy. All right, so we can't throw the ball. We know that. Pace has uh, a wet noodle for an arm. But we sure can run the football. Twenty-five to twenty is the final from Honolulu, Hawaii. That is victory number ninety for head coach Ralph Kretz. And 20 is the record. So look at the sacks. We had 50 more yards than them. They could not run the ball. Of course, it's Hawaii, though. They like to throw it. We got sacked four times. Picked them off three times. We lost one fumble. And time of possession, we killed them. Absolutely killed them. Could not stop our running attack at all. Hoofnagel, he was slanging it though for Hawaii. He really was. 280 yards. 
Yeah, pace 8 of 19, 139 yards. I don't know about him, guys. Let me know in the comments or in chat what you guys think about Cletus Pace right now. I know it's just one game. We got one more here tonight. But <coughs> we'll see. We'll see how he does against a uh, top 25 opponent in the Rice Owls. As we travel to Texas. Mason had five tackles. He missed so many tackles, too, which is crazy. May, Neal, and Kennedy all had tackles for a loss today. One sack, Corbin May. Three picks. Six pass deflections for the boys. No forced fumbles. Nothing else. Rick Hayes, four for four field goals. Long of 44. Extra points, perfect. Pete Floyd, one punt, 48 yards. Let's go. Special teams killed it today. Absolutely killed it. Have you tried creative school? Well, uh, yes, I have. I have. All right, save it and get into game number two. I'll have to see. Let me see here. <coughs> now, throughout the season, I'm on the thumbnails, I'm going to adjust the graphic to showcase, you know, who's ranked what when we actually play them. Hey, what up, Amethyst? What's going on, brother? Good to see you, man. Look at Troy State beating UTEP. That's crazy. 31-28. UTEP is stacked. Vanderbilt, they went 0-12 last season, and, uh, you know, they just continue... Their Commodore ways, losing to Ole Miss 28 to 10. Looks like Florida State beat somebody 45 to 28, I think. Perhaps, per chance. Arkansas loses to Oregon. Oregon has put up like 100 and I don't even know how many points right now. I think they scored 73 in their first game against Texas Tech, which is crazy. Number 17, Rice. Here's the matchup. Rice has been just so dominant in their conference, and it's allowed them to have great recruiting classes again and again and again to keep this team stacked and always in the top 25 uh, these last uh, probably five or six seasons, honestly. Passing, we are not doing so hot. We're going to see if we can't... Uh, can't get some passing yards in this one, huh? All right, let's go take on Rice. Oops, that's not what I want. 90 and 20 and 8 seasons, plus one game. Not bad. We're on a 16 game winning streak, boys. Our longest is 20. That was during our first national championship season. <coughs> Oklahoma, did Oklahoma just lose? All right, number two, Mississippi State. Number 17, Rice. Let's get it. This is going to be a fun one. I have no idea what their roster makeup is like, but I know that they've had a really good recruiting class for a very long time, just every season.
continues. Hi again, everybody, and welcome. I'm Brad Nestler with Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. And we're ready to bring you what appears to be another fantastic college gridiron matchup. The Owls are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you're <laughs> yeah, great stats enough. there. Mississippi State needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. His ability to read the defense and take what they give him is the reason they'll win this football game. He's a smart young man. I was just about to say that, but forget about it. Mississippi State loves to run the football, and that's how they win ball games. I think they're going to have a big game on the ground today. And Kirk, I agree with you. I think they win this one. No problem. Thank you, guys. The team captains are on the field, and this game is about to get underway. Let's get it. Let's go beat up some food. Rikay's on for the kickoff. It's first season for him doing kickoffs in his senior year. White used to do all of the kickoffs, our previous punter. I just see a 26 out there. Okay. Remember George Tyler, our former All-American free safety, was number 26. Oh, nice spin move by Zimmerman. Okay. Looks like Rice might be run. Oh, the Rice is running the wishbone, boys. You love to see it. Get him. Oh, nice tackle by Gray. He's hurt. Oh, they don't make a mention of it. I guess he's back up. This is going to be tough to defend. I don't think we've ever played against the wishbone. I'm not sure how it's going to be. Get out of the way, ref. Come on, Kennedy. Good tackle. All right, let's go 3-4. Get another linebacker out there. Who else we got? We got Campbell at middle linebacker with Mason. Just got to slow them down. This could be a quick game. <laughs> They're just going to keep it on the ground the whole game. Run the clock down. Yeah, there's a false start on the right tackle. Getting a little too excited. back in get the tackle boys and we do get the stop they're gonna punt it away see if we can block a punt we blocked one in the natty in our last stream not today oh my goodness we almost had it <whistles> dang I gotta see how close we were to getting that one Oh my goodness, about a foot and a half away. Man, <laughs> I love how close we get sometimes. Just gonna keep running the football. There goes Sanford. Man, he's so fast. Inside the 35 yard line. That's a 34 yard carry to start the game. We might not need to throw the football at all this season. I'm just saying. Oh, nice tackle. Unfortunate. Bean 
Paid the price for that tackle. Hurt his chest on the play. Okay, maybe that's why Rice doesn't throw the ball. My goodness, huge collision. I think that was Copeland with the hit. Being out for four weeks with an abdominal strain. Tough loss for the Owls' defense. And they're going to throw an exclusive pass. All right, another fourth down. Defense holding their own so far against this offense. Man, so close. I really want to block another punt. It's just so satisfying. Come on, Massey. Get there, brother. And we got him to the 25-yard line. Biggest pass play of the season so far. And sophomore gets us down to the 25. Beautiful. Love to see it. 47-yard bomb. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's unfortunate. Dynamic duo, what's going on, man? See you from yesterday? Well, I didn't stream yesterday. Maybe you mean Sunday. They're down in 12. Let's see what pace can do. Oh my goodness. Oh, Malone. What a play. Wow. Holy smokes. Rice is terrible. No, they're ranked 17th. These guys are really good. That cornerback's not. He got smoked. My goodness. Yo, what up, Jared? Good to see you, brother. You absolute legend. You know you've been subscribed to the channel for almost seven years now, Jared? You were the first person that subscribed to the channel that wasn't my older brother. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Oh my goodness. Three man rush, we get a sack. Get him. Give me that fumble. Let's go, we got a fumble recovery. Inside the five-yard line, too. 
It's going to be a day for the defense. Going up against this wishbone offense. Oof, man, what a collision that was. A couple of Mack trucks hitting each other head on. Can I get my running back in the end zone, please? He had over 200 yards, no touchdowns last game. And he's in! First touchdown of the season for Damian Sanford, the sophomore. Trying to get him in the Heisman race. That's the goal this season. We might not win every game, but we're sure going to give our all. point nearly blocked but it's 14 nothing For sure, the quarterback kept that one. That's why the wishbone offense can be pretty deadly. Got some sneaky plays in there. <coughs> 164 yards, two touchdowns. On 36 carries for the fullback. Dang. Having a pretty good year. And another drop pass. His receivers, they're not used to catching the ball. They're used to blocking. It's like when you see Army or Navy try to throw the ball a whole bunch. Like, what are you guys doing? It's not what you're made for. Oh, nice play. I was out of position on that. Get him, boys. Let's go. I'm trying to dive and hit him while they're getting brought down. Try to knock that ball loose. Nice play. That was not a good play design by Rice. I don't think that quarterback has enough speed to, to make that play happen. They don't got a Lamar Jackson out there. They're down 11 for the Owls. And that is dropped again. Gray on the coverage. And they're going to punt it. And I'm going to continue to try to block the punt. Come on, Calhoun. You got 99 speed, brother. I got blocked. Dang it. That was a good punt. Out of bounds around the 8-yard line. I'm going to try to uh, throw it deep. Malone! Oh, he had it! Come on, man. Oh, I want to watch the replay. He got his hands on it. Couldn't haul it in. Sanford picks up nine. That's going to end the first quarter. Bulldogs lead 14 to zero.
third down and about one yard. Nice blocking. And Stanford easily moves the chains. Let's go play action. Try to hit the tight end on the corner route. Oh my goodness, maybe not. Look at that, 79 just got bulldozed. It's our right guard. Poor guy. Too bad for our quarterbacks over the years. They've taken a lot of punishment. He's got speed, get it out to him. 74 yards and a touchdown in the first half. But it is third and seven coming up. Uh-oh. Yeah. Pace does not have a great arm. There's our fullback hurt on the play. Luckily, we do have a backup fullback. I don't know why Pace threw that so high in the air. That was nuts. And there's a face mask. Man, I'm just not impressed with Mason right now. I don't know what it is. Lots of missed tackles. Now a penalty. And he still had five tackles. Led the team last game. Nice cut back. Second down and two. And he just trips. Okay. I'll take that. Easy tackle. North Carolina uh, beat Oklahoma by 17. Dang. So if we win this game, we will be number one in the land. Yet again. Got a tough road ahead, though. Tomorrow's stream should be uh, a tough challenge for us. Nice play. Yeah, UNLV, I think, is our third game of the season. They went 13-0 and last year. I'm not sure what their win streak is at right now, currently, dating back to two seasons ago. Oh, he got beat. Oh, thank goodness that he dove out of bounds with that. That was almost an amazing play. They're down to 14. <coughs> now is not the time to start coughing. And it's picked off by Kennedy. Let's go. No way that's a safety. No way. What about my forward momentum, my progress? Like, what? I'm furious right now. No way. I can't believe that just happened. Come on, man. What are we doing? That is so crazy. Damn safety. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, God. And then I bounce off of the fullback. Okay. It's rigged. The game's rigged. 
I'm calling it. Every single rep on this field is from Texas. Not sure about that play call. Just two receivers going out for a pass. Interesting. Get a boys. Nice tackle. That's Copeland. He's been pretty good so far. I've been impressed with him. <coughs> Taking over for Earl Singleton at that left outside linebacker spot. And it's picked off again. Robbins. Come on, baby. Oh, my goodness. All the way down to the 31-yard line, 32-yard line. Still cannot believe that they have a safety on the board right now. If I end up beating them and they only have two points, I'm going to be pretty upset. Our defense is playing great. Now they got double coverage on Massey. Top to Mullins, and he comes down with it. No way. In double coverage, the freshman gets his first career touchdown reception. That was just a prayer. I, th I thought for sure it was going to be picked. Oh, man. 22 looks like he lost the ball in midair. Point up and good. 21 to 2. Come on, boys, get him. so far. Let's see if that trend continues. Good tackle. Gray. Tackling Gray. Love that. Nice play. That was Keyshawn Barry, our corner. That was. He ran all the way across the field to make that tackle. Great effort. They're down three for the Owls. And Kennedy makes the stop. Let's go. <coughs> Man, if I can just get around the edge here with Calhoun... We can block these. Dang it. Alright, we got 214 left. See if we can get down the field, get some more points on the board. Extend the lead a little bit. Oh, here we go. Man. Sanford is just so much faster than everybody on this defense. It's beautiful. Sandoval back in at fullback after his injury. And he's going to get a carry for two yards. That's his first career touchdown against Hawaii. Corner 
to Mullins. He, he didn't even try to catch it. Get your hands up at least, freshman. Like, what are we doing? <coughs> Third down and nine. There's Dale wide open. First down, Bulldogs. Too easy. to the end zone touchdown MSU we're cruising Pace finding his rhythm in the passing attack Extra point from Rick Hayes is up, and it is good. <coughs> Man, 28-2. to two. Oh, I got killed. He's getting, he's just some dangerous throws over here. Oh, nice catch. Campbell, that's our number two middle linebacker. Just got stiff on by a quarterback. Oh man, can't wait to show him that in, uh, <laughs> in film study. Pick on him in front of the whole team. Say, hey, son, what happened here, buddy? Oh no way, Copeland doesn't deflect that. At least touchdown, Owls. I'm actually glad they scored because I, I did not want to get a shutout with the defense only to have them have two points on the board. Extra point up and good. Or play 73 yard touchdown drive. It's 28 to 9, less than a minute to go in the first half. Got stuck on my own guy. Act here. Wide open too, of course with a flag. Good? Well, not so much. That's unfortunate. No way he caught that. That was such a risky throw. Up top, Massey's got him beat. And the sophomore lays out for it for the big time catch. 138 yards on three catches today. Ridiculous. <clears throat> 
second best uh, yardage game of his career. No way you didn't block him, bro. Come on. Well, I guess we're settling for a field goal here. Trying to kick it, at least. Hayes was 4 for 4 last game, I believe. And he is still perfect on the season. 31 to 9 as we head into the locker room for halftime. Three turnovers really hurt Rice in that first half. There we go. Nice return by Mullins up past the 40. The freshman wide receiver. Get off me, son. Just use his speed. Oh my goodness, he's so fast. Right. Offense is definitely finding their rhythm today. Oh, nice deflection. That linebacker has some really good closing speed. Star? I didn't even see what happened. I guess so. Okay. Thanks for the information, ref. Appreciate it. Right. <laughs> what the heck, man? <laughs> <coughs> That's why we don't throw them full back. That was Harding from last season. He, he would have caught that for sure. Oh my goodness. I threw that to Malone. It went right past him. And somehow, Massey keeps his eye on the ball and brings it in. That was incredible. 193 yards on the season for Massey on six catches with one touchdown been fantastic. That's going to be deflected. I thought Malone was going to be on the inside on that break, but I guess not. That should have been a face mask. the end zone. Anderson comes down with it for the score. Bulldogs pouring it on. What a catch by the tight end. Pace playing a heck of a lot better in this game as opposed to the previous contest against Hawaii. Extra point nearly blocked. Thirty-eight to nine here in the third. Nice tackle by Campbell. Oh my goodness. If he didn't get him, he would have been running for a while, I think. Nice 
his tackle, Kennedy. Okay. Been pretty impressed by Kennedy so far at free safety. Robbins at corner. Barry at the other corner spot. They've been playing pretty well. And that was Copeland, another tackle. He's been really good at linebacker. Corbin May, a little quiet in this game, but played well against Hawaii. Oh, my goodness. I thought Barry had a pick six, man. <coughs> Should have had it. Good play, though. Good deflection. close on that one. I think I hit the punter too. Return by Mullins up to the 41 yard line. We did not hit the punter. <laughs> Rice's booty. <laughs> hey, we're just playing really well, man. Oh my goodness, he's so fast. Man, I wish Jarius Norwood would have played like this for us in the first few seasons of this dynasty. Oh, nice play. Nice deflection. Dang. Quick reaction time. Pays four touchdowns today. Oh, he couldn't throw it. No way that's a fumble. Oh, my goodness. Well, I guess we're going for it. What do we have to lose? Malone, where are you going, brother? <laughs> You're wide open, man. <coughs> Dang. That should have been an easy first down. I don't know what he was doing. He ran where the ball wasn't. close to any receiver. And overthrows his target again. Third and ten coming up. Bulldogs get the stop on third down, and they're going to punt it away again. Dang it. Dang, thumb. My, my thumb fell off the stick on that play. the ball without a fullback. Got it. Makes sense to me. We're going to get killed again here. Oh, 
Come on, Malone, get there. I don't know, that's not <coughs> pass interference. <coughs> Dude's bumping me the whole way. All right, they're down 12. Anderson, oh, it went right over his hands. Oh my goodness. Dang. Team is pretty good this year. I mean, we're looking pretty decent, I think, yeah. Well, especially for the amount of new faces we got starting. It's kind of crazy. Get him. Good tackle. Yeah, I mean, only returning, you know, nine starters out of 22 and doing as well as we are right now is, is pretty impressive. Surprising. But we haven't gotten to conference play yet, so. And it's picked off by Kennedy, his second of the game. Tyrone Christian injured. That's their quarterback. He got hit. Pretty hard. Pretty hard. All right, let's get some blocking, boys. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I thought he was gone. Still a great run from Damian Sanford. Over 150 yards today, just killing it. Man, wait till next year, too. He'll be a junior, and so will four of our, well, probably all five of our offensive linemen. We got four sophomores starting right now, and one senior at left tackle. Actually, he might be right tackle. <coughs> then we got another sophomore waiting in the wings. Alright, third down at two. Let's go ISO. Gotta be careful. Sanford looking a little tired here, and he is gonna move the chains. He's exhausted. I'm not sure why he's not getting off the field right now. Heck, last year it felt like he'd run three three times in a drive and we wouldn't see him for the rest of the drive. This is the second time Sandoval has been injured at fullback for us. In just two games. <coughs> Back of fullback Kraft is in there. And he gets crushed. There's his uh, initiation right there. Run into a brick wall face first. Tell me how it feels. I cannot believe we pump faked the heck out of that guy. Alright, we're just going to kick the field goal here. Almost had the first down. That was dang close. Rick Hayes on for his sixth attempt of the season, I think. And this one is going to be good. He is money so far this season. Right down Broadway. 41 to 9. Nine seconds left here in the third quarter. Get in my way, ref. Larson saves the kick return touchdown. <coughs> That's one of our backup outside linebackers. Get your fours up in the chat. We're on top 41 to 9. Taking on the Rice Owls, number 17 team in the country. 
We will be number one after this game. Oklahoma lost. Got some pressure, and he goes down. That's the back of quarterback Knox getting sacked. And that was our backup middle linebacker getting the sack. Campbell. Loss of eight on that play. Nice catch. Figured my corner would help me out there and make a play, but I guess not. They're down at four. That was a 14 yard pickup. I'm stuck on the ref. Nice tackle. And that time it was Mason making a good play. Okay, okay. I see you. Sandoval off for the game with a strained pectoral. Rub some dirt on it. <coughs> Man. Get him. We stopped them, boys. Good stop in the red zone. Good blocking again. Cut it back inside, stay in bounds, run the clock down. 176 yards so far for Damian Sanford, the sophomore running back. I think I'm going to make this his last carry. And he's still going, my goodness. Or do we go and try to get him two back to back 200 uh, yard games? Why not? Well, not on that run. <coughs> oh, man. Zone coverage. Does that get him over 200? I don't know how to do math quickly right now. 210 yards. Again, two straight games. He's got 420 yards rushing this season. <coughs> I'm going to put McCoy in there. Get the young fella some carries now. Oh, also, I'm going to put in a backup quarterback, Billy Bond. Get him some playing time. Why not? Oh, nice run by McCoy. Nice to get some fresh legs out there. Sanford looking a little tired on that last carry he had. Billy Bond, number seven. McCoy, number 35 at running back. And he's just juking people out left and right. They had a linebacker in the backfield. I'm not sure what the heck happened to him. Couldn't make the play. Here we go. Good run for the quarterback. Pitches out to McCoy, who jukes out three guys. Fullback, he's going to move the chains up to the 10 yard line. We can get a first down here without scoring. Just outside the one, or the goal line, rather. Oh, 
Couldn't juke him that time, and he fumbles. There's no way he just fumbled that. Dude was on his back. That is crazy. <coughs> Man. Get him, boys. Wide open is Robbins. No way. There's just no way that's happening. Are you kidding me? No, I don't want to see that. Good lordy. Idiot yards for Robbins. Get out of here. That's absurd. See, he's not doing too bad. He's got four yards per carry. But he's just not getting enough opportunities. Uh, running the football. And we get another sack. Let's go. Who gets him? Copeland. He's been pretty good. That was a coverage sack if I've ever seen one. Man, he almost caught that. Great effort. By the tight end. Obviously, they're going to go for it here. Down by 32 points. Why not? He's wide open. And it's overthrown. <coughs> the quarterback did get hit pretty hard as he tried to release that ball. Back to McCoy we go at running back. Hold on to the football, freshman. We have over 500 yards of offense today. And McCoy picking up seven. 38 yards on six carries. And Billy Bond moving the chains inside Rice territory. He's pretty quick, 76 speed quarterback. <coughs> Fastest one we've had since Ken Topps. option again why not all right they're going man coverage with the corners at least I did not pitch that to the fullback but good catch big guy definitely definitely how we drew that one up Billy Bond, another good run up to the 26. Adds that extra dimension, you know, to the offense, being able to run. McCoy to the outside. He's tired. Dragged down at the 14. He is gassed. I don't know why our players aren't being taken out when they're tired this season. I, I changed no setting. Sanford played the game, 210 yards, one touchdown, and 22 carries. Not too shabby. Kick a field goal here. <coughs> I 
keep the red zone percentage good, you know. Unless I miss, of course. GG's. And this one's all wrapped up. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I was a little surprised by the lopsided score, but I think the better team came away with the victory. Mississippi State simply dominated their opponents in every aspect of this game. This is a very good football team. Thanks for watching this game of NCAA Football 2003. The final count in this one, Mississippi State 44. Rice, nine. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone. All right, total domination here today. More than double their yards of offense. They only ran the ball for 62 yards running the wishbone. Once we shut that down in that first quarter, they were forced to throw it, and they are not very good at throwing the football. We sacked them three times. We got sacked three times. We've been sacked seven times so far this season. While only getting four sacks. They were 0 for 10 on third down. And 0 for 2 on fourth down. Defense played lights out. Just absolutely fantastic performance from them. Uh, we had four takeaways. And let's see. We lost two fumbles. And threw our first pick of the season. But, I mean, Pace also threw four touchdowns. So, pretty impressive game from him. And how about the kicker, Rick Hayes? We haven't missed with him yet. Hayes still below 50% passing, though. Got to work on that. Sanford just killing it. 420 yards and a touchdown this season. Massey with a great game. 4 for 165 with a score. Malone scored. Anderson scored. Mullins scored. Everybody's putting up touchdowns. Except for Desmond Dale, but that's fine. Copeland, six touchdowns. Kennedy with six. Campbell and Gray with five. Mason and Barry each with four. <coughs> Seven tackles for a loss for the defense. Three sacks. Three interceptions. Including the one that got called a, a safety against Kennedy, which was ridiculous. Deflection for Keyshawn Barry. Forced fumble for Corbin May. Recovered by Keyshawn Barry. Hayes is, I think he's 7 of 7 this season. The long of 44. Punting, 1 for 47. They returned it 1 yard. They had a 37 yard kick return and a 14 yard punt return by Mullins today. Not too shabby. But that is going to do it. For this stream, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new and join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that. I'm going to go ahead and save it and get on out of here. I will simulate the rest of the week on stream and show you guys uh, the next opponent. But that's going to do it for me for tonight, guys. Till next time, take it easy.